Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. I am really excited to talk about these fragrances from House of Siage. Some of us that, you know, are makeup lovers, but we love fragrance too. We have chatted about these fragrances and I got my hands on them samples so that I could let you know what I think because y'all know House of Siage is a luxury perfume house and we don't have ends like that to just be dropping $400 on fragrances fragrances even though we love the cupcakes so I really hope that you will find this review helpful if you want to hear all about Bugs Bunny Sweetie Bird and Wednesday from House of Siage keep watching this video let me know what you think and if makeup is your therapy and your love if it makes you happy and you like smelling good too definitely consider joining the community I'd love to have you back all right let's get started So how are you? I'm great because I'm so excited to put this video up. Smelling perfumes for me is such a process and I could feel one way one day and a totally different way about a fragrance the next day. I've had these samples for a couple of weeks now and I think that I have worn them enough to give a solid review. So again, I'm really hoping that you all find this video helpful please let me know how you're doing in the comment section whichever you prefer because i love to know how my family is doing and we're going to get into this these fragrance samples came from the siage by gb now gb that's greta beth she is a fragrance creator here on youtube or a fragrance content creator here on youtube and she is a wealth of knowledge she has so many fragrances I just discovered her within the last year and I recently discovered from one of you that she does decants and so I have done two orders from her site the Siage by GB and I will link her channel as well as her website in the description box. Hmm. These House of Siage fragrances I'm not sure where else you could get samples from except from Greta Beth and what I love about her fragrance samples is how, not to say that I didn't think they would look professional, but I mean, I get fragrance samples from Olfactive, Lucky Scent, and some different places, Twisted Lily. I love how she has the labels with the actual picture of the full-size bottle on them. So, so there's the Wednesday, Bugs Bunny, and then Tweety. I just love that little bit of detail that she puts in her samples. I think she's the only one that has samples of these scents. So they do not come cheap. They were $22 a piece, but honestly, I felt like it was worth it because I have blind bought fragrances from House of Siage when they've had 50% off. And so far, so good. I haven't really been too disappointed. I think I may have sold one or two but there have been some huge successes i like wonder woman i like um oh my gosh cream chiffon ah, i love cream chiffon i love mini mouse oh my goodness i love those sometimes you can go by the notes and sometimes you think the notes are going to come together and they don't and if you've blind bought any fragrances that weren't what you thought they were you know the feeling like when it's like damn this this wasn't it you know and I just was so intrigued by these and we've talked about them several times. I just thought that this would uh, be helpful for anyone who was curious. House of Siage does put their fragrances on sale. I would never advise getting them at full price because when they put things on sale, it's not like months and months and months after the launch. Wednesday went on sale fairly quickly. It's gone up to 50% off. Currently, the two Looney Tunes fragrances, these have gone on sale for 20% off. I believe they're 20% off now, but you know, I would go for 50% off. Minnie Mouse has gone for 50% off. The Disney 100, I have that one here. This one has gone on sale. This one, the last time I checked was 55% off. So if you're looking for something from House of Siage, 
please wait for a sale i cannot say it enough wait for a sale the cupcakes are definitely beautiful they're weighty they're heavy they are luxurious but eventually you can't refill them so they're just going to be a statement piece that's what i'm dealing with with a uh, cream chiffon right now wherever she is and the thing about, I don't know where cream chiffon is, but the thing about cream chiffon is that it's gone on sale for 60% off. And I'm like, I don't want another cupcake of the same one. I just wish I could just refill it. I'm just going on a, a rant right now. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna get to some earlier me's. We are gonna test out all of these fragrances and I'm gonna let you know my thoughts. Again, these are not first impressions. This is after wearing these fragrances for about two weeks. And I always try to save some of the sample so that I do have some to spray in the video because, you know, after a week or so, you know, sometimes you just need to refresh. And I think that makes a good review. So let's get into that. And I will be back at the end to wrap it up and let you know my final thoughts. All right, y'all. So first we're going to be talking about Bugs Bunny by House of Siage. And this is a fragrance for women and men, and it released in 2023, I wanna say at the very, very end. Now, this is available on the House of Siage website for $425. It's made in the USA, and the cupcakes hold 75 mLs. Please wait for this to go on sale if you're interested, and that goes for anything from House of Siage because they throw these things on sale. The Looney Tunes fragrances have been on sale for 20% off already, and I'm hoping that the discount will, you know, continue to get steeper or deeper, deeper discount. However, I didn't purchase the cupcake, so you will be seeing pictures. So from the House of Siage website, it says, step into the world of Looney Tunes with the new Bugs Bunny limited edition fragrance by House of Siage in collaboration with Warner Brothers. This opulent fragrance embodies the playful yet charismatic personality of the beloved cartoon character, Bugs Bunny. And the cupcake, as you've seen, comes with Bugs Bunny on the top and the Swarovski crystals. So it's very, very beautiful and um and opulent i would say and too much for some people but i, I kind of like them all right let's get into the notes these notes come from fragrantica we have top notes of pink raspberry bergamot and shyness molly which is the peruvian pepper tree it's an aromatic evergreen shrub or tree that's found in central and southern california now in the heart notes we have jasmine rose whipped vanilla and in the base we have golden amber patchouli olibanum and sheer musk i'm gonna go ahead and spray this and i've worn this already several times and i just try to save some of the sample for the video so I can spray it and I can say like on my skin like I love this but on my skin I love love it so it opens up with that bergamot and the raspberry just as the fragrance uh, was described and you do smell like this a little bit of an evergreen piney smell which I'm thinking is the Peruvian pepper it's not really strong it's not pine I, I would say evergreen that's kind of like pine though but you can tell there's like this um it's like a fresh green smell but it's really really slight the bergamot and the raspberry really take the opening when it dries down you can smell just very subtle hints of rose i'm not a rose fragrance lover but there's the vanilla there's amber and you can still smell a hint of that raspberry but i think it's stronger in the opening there's also a, a, just a tiny hint of woods. So I'm kind of getting the nature vibe a little bit, but it, it's, I don't want you to think it's like this green nature scent because it's not. It's, it's actually kind of fruity and I really, really enjoy this. It's a sweet amber musky scent with a hint of berry and I really like it. I think that it leans more feminine. I'm not sure what I would have expected a Bugs Bunny fragrance to smell like, but I love it. It is rare when I find a fragrance where I'm like, I can't tell what season this is best for. I feel like this is kind of all seasons, any time of day. It's just beautiful. You can wear it at daytime, you can wear it at night. I can see you wearing this in the winter, like I've been wearing it now, but I could also see 
some are wearing it in the spring possibly summer and fall as well definitely fall so you have to let me know what you think even if you haven't smelled it just like about this combination of notes i have worn this to work i've worn it to bed and it does eventually fade so you know, i put my fragrances on around seven and i'm home around three ish so by that time you know you definitely could reapply it so i would say like the six hour mark you know you might want to reapply this but i would have no problem doing it i really really love this now when it comes to comparisons i really don't have any this is really unique but i did pull out cape heartache cape heartache is by imaginary authors and the reason that i pulled this out is because this one has a strawberry note and like an evergreen note or a pine note. And it reminds me just a hint of the Bugs Bunny because of that, that mix of the, the raspberry and the shyness molly. And I'm hoping I'm saying that right. It just gave me a similar vibe, but to me, I call this one strawberry Christmas. You, the evergreen smell in Cape Heartache is, is a lot more potent, a lot stronger. But when this one dries down, I think the strawberry stays just as strong. Where as the berry in the Bugs Bunny scent, I think it kind of fades a little bit. So, oh my gosh, I love Cape Heartache. And I think these would, they're not similar at all. They are not similar at all. I don't think you could get Cape Heartache and that's gonna smell like Bugs Bunny. Not true because Bugs has the uh, whipped cream, you know, like kind of that vanilla in it. And it's more like creamier, I would say. This is like a nature scent, but I kind of like how they smell together. I really don't have any comparisons for this. So I, I just wanted to mention this one. I would definitely layer this with vanillas and with fruity scents. I think a lot of people would feel comfortable wearing this scent. And if somebody was next to me and was wearing this, like it wouldn't bother me. So overall, I really like this fragrance and I would consider purchasing this one on sale. It's not overpowering, it's not offensive. Then you could wear it at night. And the notes make it sound like a safe blind buy but I just wouldn't consider something that's $425 a safe blind buy. I mean, you, you have to be sure. Yeah, I think it could be safe, but this one's not a 100% safe blind buy. I'm trying to think of any House of Siage fragrances that I have. Cream Chiffon, I think Cream Chiffon, like if you like vanillas, that's gonna be a safe blind buy. You know what I mean? But, hmm. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've smelled this. Let me know if you have this. I really don't think a lot of people do. I haven't seen any reviews at this point. I haven't even seen it pop up. So let me know. I really would not mind having this in my collection at all on sale. I even did a little Bugs Bunny inspired eye look. So I will have my little eye looks up on a separate video. But yeah, I just wanted to pick something that represented the earthiness of Bugs Bunny. And next up, we are gonna talk about Tweety. All right, so we are moving on to our next fragrance, which is Tweety. And I'm really excited for y'all to hear about this one. Tweety by House of Siage is a floral fruity fragrance for women and men. And it is brand new. It was released in 2024. This is also available on the House of Siage website for $425. And again, 75 mLs made in the USA. Got this one from the Siage by Greta Beth. All right, here is the description. This is described as an opulent fragrance, which captures the playful and endearing personality of Tweety, one of the most cherished characters in the Looney Tunes series. Immerse yourself in this exceptional fragrance that captures the delightful spirit of Tweety, ensuring that each application brings a smile to your face and commemorates the enduring legacy of Looney Tunes. Y'all, this Let's not spray it, let's do the notes. We have top notes of bergamot, lemon, and apple, middle notes of lily, jasmine, peach, peony, and rose, and base notes of musk and woody notes. Okay, I'm gonna tell you uh, what I wrote for the opening and dry down that this reminds me a bit of Bitter Peach by Thomas, Tom Ford. It opens with peach and apple that stays in the dry down as well. 
It opens with peach and apple, which stays in the dry down as well. I don't really smell the floral or the woods in this scent. And the dry down is very similar to the opening for me. It's not a, a, a super evolutionary fragrance. Like it doesn't evolve and have all these changes in my opinion. Oh my gosh. So I could definitely smell this all day. I wore it to work. I've worn it to bed. I think this is moderately strong. It's definitely noticeable. If you like Bitter Peach from Tom Ford, you will love this one. I think you really, really will. It's, I mean, different fragrances, but that peach note, if you like a good peach note, this Tweety Bird fragrance is gonna be for you. And other comparisons besides Bitter Peach, we have uh, imaginary authors in love with everything. Thought it was kind of ironic for Bugs and Tweety. I have an imaginary author's a fragrance. And let me just get you the notes on that and so you can know why I uh, chose that for a comparison. So with the imaginary authors, this is another uh, fruity and sweet fragrance. It's got notes of punch, palm, sugar, raspberry, berry citruses and sandalwood so you see that there are the the fruits and then the woods and again I really don't get too much of the woods in Tweety at all but I just I love it I Tweety and bugs like give, come on I, I could even consider 30% off let me spray imaginary authors yeah I mean it's comparable but it's not a dupe but it's it's along that vibe of like summery, fruity, super sweet. Tweety definitely uh, leans feminine. And I don't, I don't know if we would consider peach a more feminine scent, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. I, I, again, if you love bitter peach, you will really enjoy the Tweety fragrance. Mm, I really like it. In Love With Everything is, is pretty different, but it's just one that came to mind thinking about the fruits in the woods. So for this one, I said that this is one I would consider purchasing on sale. It's great. If you like Tom Ford Bitter Peach, you will love this one. I would wear this year round, but many people will love this for the warmer weather months. Very fruity and reminds me of summer. I think this is a safe blind buy. It leans feminine. If you like peach, you will love this one. So to me, this one is really straightforward. Peach, fruit, um, inoffensive, you know, feminine. I, I just think of feminine with this one. And with Bugs Bunny as well, but especially Tweety. I, I just think this one is such a safe blind buy. I could buy this one and, and have no uh, regrets about purchasing this one. Oh, so loving this one. All right, y'all. Oh, and this is my Tweety Bird look. So I used the Natasha Denona pastel palette and I chose it because the pastel palette is just light and airy. It just reminds me of spring. And I just love the little cupcake with Tweety and the sky in the background, just a little fluttery. So cute. I just thought the pastel palette would be perfect for a, a Tweety Bird look. So let me know your thoughts on this fragrance. Let me know if you're interested in it or if you have it. And we're gonna get to the last one, which is our girl Wednesday. All right, friends, we are back to talk about the last and final fragrance. And this one is Wednesday. Y'all, when I saw this bottle, I just wanted it for the bottle. It was so unique, so beautiful. I love how Thing was on the top of it. It. I was like, this is mine when it goes on sale. This is definitely mine. So let's get into this. I'll give you my review and then we'll wrap this one up. So Wednesday was released in 2023. It was the first one launched out of the ones that we have talked about today. Again, made in the USA, 75 mLs in the cupcake. Regular price is $418. This one was also purchased from the Siage by GB. Let's get into the description. Step into the supernatural world of Wednesday where mystery and enchantment intertwine to create a fragrance like no other. Inspired by the wickedly enigmatic character from the hit series, Wednesday limited edition fragrance invites you to embrace your individuality and revel in the beauty of darkness. This fragrance captures Wednesday's unique charisma and sardonic character in a one-of-a-kind, captivating scent. 
As you wear this exceptional fragrance, dare to stand out, redefine the conventional ideals of beauty and immerse yourself in the unique charm of darkness. I'm gonna scoot over so we can get these notes. We have top notes of black pepper, LME resin and saffron, middle notes of Turkish rose, rose and magnolia, and base notes of patchouli, argarwood, and vetiver. The opening of this isn't too bad. It's very, very rose heavy for me in the opening. And as it settles down, I'm gonna spray a little bit on my skin. You get that woods and patchouli. There's a lot of rose in this one. There's Turkish rose and then there's regular rose. I don't know the difference in the smell, but I'm saying it's a double dose because you have two different kinds. If you don't like rose in your fragrance, this is not the fragrance for you. If you don't like heavy patchouli, this is not the fragrance for you. If you don't like a lot of woods, this is not going to be it. Um, this is definitely a unisex fragrance, in my opinion, even though there's a lot of rose in it. Um, and I'm not saying rose means feminine, but typically that's, I think, what people think at times. But I'm not sure who this fragrance is for, but it's, it's not my fragrance. Uh, it's peppery and... Um, Again, very woodsy, very rosy, and this gives off to me like winter vibes, nighttime vibes. It's not really a, a daytime smell, in my opinion. I could see someone wearing this like, I'm just like having a, I could see somebody wearing this like to an event where they have to wear like a black dress or like getting dressed up, maybe like a cocktail party or something, definitely something in the evening. I do think some people will like this, but for me, if there's too much patchouli, I'm out. If there's too much rose, I'm out. And there are both of those notes in this fragrance, rose, patchouli, and a bit of woods. As far as longevity goes, I think this fragrance is pretty strong. I was able to smell it all day on my clothes and my skin. This is unique. It is just not for everyone uh, because this is a unique fragrance. So I don't have a lot of comparisons. The closest thing that I have in my collection would be the Rose Oud by Kali. I really didn't like that one as well. In the Kali, you have the rose and the oud, like that wood. I don't smell as much patchouli in the Rose Oud. So I would prefer Rose Oud to Wednesday. What I wrote for my overall thoughts is that I am glad that I did not purchase this for the cupcake because it just would have been a statement piece in my collection. I couldn't even think of something that I would want to layer this with that I own. So purchasing this full size was definitely out. This combination of notes makes this not a safe blind buy. The rose, the wood, the patchouli. I really wanted to like it, but I don't. I would not recommend it for the bottle. I think if you like these notes, you would really like this. I would definitely consider this to be a mature scent. It's an evening scent. It's not like horrible. You know what I mean? It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell like me. So let me know if you think the Wednesday fragrance would be your cup of tea. I'm just uh, curious. And if you've smelled this or you have fragrances with these type of notes, like this combination, let me know in the comment section or the chat, like which ones you think will compare. As I said, I, I can only think of Rose Oud from KLE, but I, I usually don't buy these types of fragrances. So I'm very happy to have paid the $22 because I was this close to getting this 50% off and it would have been a true waste of money. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one. Like I keep wanting to like it, but it's just not for me. So let's recap. I'm going to give you my final thoughts. I know I kind of did that, but I'm going to just, you know, recap and close this one out. So overall, Bugs Bunny and Tweety, those are yeses. I'm just waiting for the price to be right. And I'm not sure if it will ever be. If they don't go on sale to 50% off, and I had to choose for some reason, I don't know. This is just speculating. It would be Bugs. If I had to choose between Tweety and Bugs, I'm going with Bugs. I think I would get more use out of it. I think you could probably find things closer to Tweety than bugs you have to let me know if you have smelled these let me know your thoughts <sighs> and wednesday i told you that's a no so 
I think that's how I would rank them. Bugs, Tweety, and Wednesday. Mm. Bugs and Tweety are like neck and neck, so. I probably already have up the video with my eye looks that I did inspired by these fragrances. So if you're in to makeup, definitely check that video out. I use all Natasha Denona palettes and I really had fun. I'm having fun doing like the makeup inspo from the fragrances and fragrance inspo for makeup. Sometimes when I do my get readies with me, you know, I'll pick a fragrance based on the look or how I'm feeling. So I like the crossover in that way, but, and I'll have the videos linked. So that's gonna be it for this video. As always, give me your thoughts. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go on, block your ears.